This is a heavy duty bench. Um, it's like 5 16 plate on top. Anyways, all right, so I think we're good to go on here. Um, got everything set up. I got kind of cleaned up and oiled all the, uh, the ways and put this little. This thing still in the pack is one of them little Harbor Freight freebie magnetic things. And keep all the tools for the lathe here. Got the the uh, chuck key. Always got to have a little crescent wrench. Got the Allen key that fits the tool post. And then all the uh, carbide tooling um, to go with it. So let's uh, let's machine something here. See how well it works. I just got this little piece of black pipe. We'll chuck up in here and see how it goes. So we want to make sure that our tool is at or slightly below the center line of the piece we're machining. Once we get the, the height of the tool set, now we'll set the angle of it. You want it either perpendicular or slightly, the tip slightly following. And since it's a three jaw chuck, we didn't have to indicate in you know the the piece we're machining it's not precision or anything but it's going to be close so let's try it out <laughs>
Nice. <clears throat> so this <clears throat> auto feed is actually just for thread cutting is what I'm figuring out here. Um, you really can't slow it down slow enough to actually just take a smooth cut. So to take a smooth cut, you got to hand feed it, which, you know, hey, it's not like we're doing any big machine jobs here. It's just for little parts and stuff. So, you know, we got pretty nice surface there. A little bit of threading, but not terrible. Um, that, that's easy enough to clean up. Take some 220 grit emery cloth, run this into the hood. Decent machined surface. I used to have a set of micrometers years ago, but I'm not sure what happened to them. I'll have to see if I can find them, but we use this caliper for now. So one inch twenty-three thousandths. Let's take uh, let's take a twenty thousandths cut by dialing in on this dial here and see how accurate that is. Here. Yeah, so it was just over. It was about twenty-five thousandths or so. So it's not too bad. If we're getting precision, though, we'll set up our indicator and dial in and take lighter cuts and then polish to to the size we need. But that's not too bad. It did bog down a little bit on there, which was surprising. So I think I'm gonna go back into this and. Um, disconnect that thread feed and, and see if that gives it more power or not because that was bogging it a little bit. It's not a bad finish. I didn't even polish that. So just feeding it by hand. I didn't get a chamfer on the inside because my tool was below the center line. And when you're doing the inner diameter, it's got to be at or above. But it's just a little demonstration of it working. So I'm pretty confident that this will be a nice little addition to, uh, to my little shop here. I can make uh, tools and parts and things that I need. So I'm sure you'll see... Uh, See this in use in the future. All right, let's do something else. So there's the first kind of real piece that we've machined in the um, in the lathe. Uh, this is timing cover alignment tool for my LS build. Uh, the way it came, it wasn't meant to align it with the seal in it, but I wanted to be able to align it with the seal already in it, so I machined it down to the same size here. So you can check out that on another video. But yeah, this is uh, this is awesome being able to do this at home. <laughs> 